Hey, what's up? So are you trying to get into the cybersecurity industry in 2024? <laughs> I totally get it. There's a wealth of information out there. There's a lot of people out there <laughs> telling you what to do, that you need to do this, learn Python, learn SQL, let CLI, all those stuff, right? When you go on YouTube, it's even crazy. There are literally thousands of people out there telling you what to do, that you need to follow this process. Thousands of people trying to tell you that you need to join this bootcamp, do this, do this, do that. I, I totally get it, right? I have been in your shoes before and I totally get it. Before I got into the industry, this was something that I was struggling with because it is very difficult to juggle the information when every single individual is telling you something totally different. So today, I want you to take a deep breath. Come on, let's do it together. Now let's get to what you actually need to do, okay? And this is from my personal experience because this is what I did. If it, it might probably work for you, it might probably not work for you, but I do know that if you follow it step by step, it is something that would work for you, okay? So now, Let's kind of like give it on a layman terms, right? If you want to get into the cyber security industry, there is something that you have to understand first. How computers interact with each other. Am I right? You need to understand how computers work with each other, how they communicate with each other before you can even safeguard it. Because if you do not know how, you know, information move from point A to point B, how are you going to intercept any sort of attack that's actually going to come in? Does that make sense? Okay. So the first thing that I need you to do is learn computer networking. Okay. Let's take a pause. Okay. I don't need you to focus on any of these security plus. I don't need you to focus on any of these come to your A plus, blah, 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 all those stuff. No, no. Take a chill pill. Take a chill pill. This is what you need to do. Learn computer networking. Once you understand that, okay, if I am moving data from point A to point B, B from this computer from to this computer on over the internet. This is what you know how it works. The TCP, the OSI, all those stuff. This is how it works. Then we can move to point two. So the first one is you need to learn computer networking. If you do not understand computer networking, it will be a bit difficult for you. Okay, and I'm being honest. Like we're talking like brothers and sisters, like a brother, like a sister. You know all those stuff. Big brother, all those stuff. Let's talk. All right. If you do not understand computer networking, eh, it will be very difficult for you. Now, once you're done with computer networking and you understand kind of like the fundamentals of how computers communicate with each other, you know, with the IP addresses, the DHCP servers, you know, all, all this IP address stuff, private IP address, public IP address, all those stuff. Once you understand that, then we can move to the more serious stuff, right? Once you understand that, then I need you to get the foundation of cybersecurity. And for you to get that foundation of cybersecurity, you need to learn Security Plus. Okay, so it's a process that you need to follow. It's a simple process. So the first process is you have to understand computer network and how computers communicate with each other. And after you learn how they communicate with each other, then you move to the security section of things. So you have to understand the security, how you, you, you can secure, you know, these computers, how you can put like Canary Wolf, all those stuff on there, how you can use these SIM tools, how you can learn with all these NIST publications, how you can learn all these extra stuff that you need to do to make sure that you're securing your network or you're, you're securing the assets that you have. Then you do that, okay? So point one, networking. Point two, you learn uh, Security Plus. Then you get your Security Plus certification. Network Plus certification, I don't really think you need it, but most companies, even the DOD, is requesting that you get the Security Plus certification. So that's something that I would recommend that you take, okay? So first one, you have everything squared away. And then the next thing that I need you to focus on is a course that I would recommend to you. I cannot recommend this course enough. It is the Google Cybersecurity Certification on Coursera, okay? The main reason why I tend to recommend this certification a lot, there are two of them, the Google Cybersecurity Certification on Coursera and then the Microsoft Cybersecurity Certification on Coursera. Now let's break it down. The main reason why I recommend the Google and the Microsoft is because with the Microsoft, a lot of companies out there are using a lot of these Microsoft tools like Microsoft Defender, Desktop Central, Endpoint Central, all those stuff, Microsoft, right? Most companies and tend to use these a lot, you know, for patching, deployments, all those stuff. So if you learn the Microsoft Cybersecurity Professional Certification on Coursera, it actually helps you because most companies tend to use Microsoft stuff as compared to using Mac or any of those stuff, right? And then we move to Google. So Google Cybersecurity Certification is something that I would actually need you to take as well. So these two, so it's four steps, right? So you start off with networking, you start off with Security Plus, and then you finish off with the Microsoft and Google Cybersecurity Cert. Once you do all this together, it would actually give you that foundation that you need to get into the cybersecurity industry. And believe you me, you can even get a cybersecurity entry level role as a detection analyst, a cybersecurity analyst, and you know, you move up from there. So after you do all those stuff that I've shown you now, the next thing to do is projects. Because you can't just learn, go read, or whatever the case is, and then not implement it in any project, right? 
I mean, it doesn't make sense. So the next thing that you need to do is projects. So projects, there is one website that I would actually recommend for you. It's called Try Hack Me. T R Y Hack Me, right? Try Hack Me. So basically, what that website does is it gives you so many projects. <laughs> and I'm serious, it gives you so many projects that you can actually follow. Do those projects after you've done, you know, the previous stuff that I told you to do. You do those projects, and that gives you those hands on experience that you need. So, as to make sure that if you become, let's say, a pen tester and then you're hacking into a system, Try Hack Me would walk you through the process on how these pen testers do it with the IP addresses and stuff like that. If you're doing any sort of like malware detection, any intrusion detection, any endpoint detection stuff, any vulnerability analysis or detection stuff, they would walk you through it. It's a step-by-step -step process that they walk you through and then you answer some questions, you're doing some real hands-on projects, and that helps you to become more confident when it comes to the interview side of things, okay? So after you do that, try hack me, then you move over to resumes. Resume is one of those things that becomes very difficult after everybody have done whatever they need to do to get into the cybersecurity industry. And I, 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 mean, I totally get it because sometimes it's so tedious when you have to fix your resume for every single job that you have to apply for. But that's something that you have to do regardless. Whether you like it or not, you have to do it. You have to go through the process. It's, it's literally what it is. It is what it is and you have to follow it, okay? So now let's go over the processes again to make sure that you get it. So the first one is you have to learn computer networking. Two, Security Plus, meaning you have to take this CompTIA Security Plus certification. Most people will probably sometimes tell you that if you're new to uh, uh, um, the computer world or cybersecurity, then take the A+. Plus. A+, plus, I feel like, I mean, why do I need to know how to com connect printers and stuff like that? I don't really recommend it, right? So you take Network Plus, you take Security Plus. Next one, you take the Google Cybersecurity Cert and then the Microsoft Cybersecurity Cert. And then the last one, which is the fifth one, is Try Hack Me. You do try hack me, make sure that you're getting your hands on projects on board, and then you fix your resume and you're good to go. Does that make sense? So I do hope that I gave you some great gems today. For all those out there who wants to get into the cybersecurity industry, trust me, it's not easy. I'm not gonna lie. It's not easy. It's 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 very difficult for you to get into you know uh, the cybersecurity industry. Some people get in easy because they're smart, they have these higher IQs, which is totally fine. But that does not mean that you cannot get in this wall, right? There's a process that you have to follow. And this process that I've given you today is what would actually help get you get your foot through the door. It's a step-by-step -step process because I, I do not want you to go out there and take those $10,000 boot camps. <sighs> that would probably not help you, right? You go pay $10,000. And I, told, I totally do get it that there's a lot of people out there who need structure. I get it, right? They need structure, meaning they actually need to go to these classes to make sure that, hey, I have class from seven to nine, I have to join the class because I've paid money for it. I totally get it. But then, if you're disciplined enough, you would not be paying $10,000, $5,000 for somebody to teach you what they learned on YouTube, for somebody to teach you what they learned on Google. I mean, why spend that amount of money when you can actually do it by yourself? And, and, and I totally get it. You know, like I said, some people like structure, but then if you're disciplined enough, you can actually put that structure in place for yourself and still do it and still succeed. So those are some of the tips that I need you to follow in 2024 to help you get into the cybersecurity industry. Like I said, again, I do hope that I gave you some great gems today. Till I see you again, stay blessed, be blessed, and God bless. Peace.